Hey, what's up everybody? It's Brian Dean from Quick Sprout. And in this video, I'm gonna show you best practices for on-page SEO for e-commerce sites. And just like for any website, on-page SEO for e-commerce sites begins with keyword research. So log into your Google AdWords account, click on tools and analysis, and then click on keyword planner. Now, obviously with an e-commerce site, you don't have as many keywords to choose from. So basically what you're trying to do is find the variations that people use to find the products that you're selling. So once you're here, click on search for keyword and ad group ideas, and you have a few options. Now, you can put in your product or service here, or you can put a particular landing page. So if you're trying to rank a category or product page, you can paste that in here, and Google will give you suggestions based on that page. But for the sake of the video, we're gonna put in a couple keywords at the top. So let's say you sold coffee grinders. So you wanna put coffee grinders and coffee grinder. And you wanna put the singular and plural because sometimes there's a pretty significant difference between the search volume for the two keywords. Then click on get ideas. Now by default, AdWords shows you ad group ideas. That's not what you want. You actually want keyword ideas. So click on keyword ideas and it'll show you the search terms that you entered here and their average monthly search volume. So as you can see, coffee grinder gets significantly more search volume than coffee grinder. So depending on how it makes sense for you, your site and your business, you may want to use coffee grinder because that gets significantly more search volume. Now, obviously, if you optimize for coffee grinders, you'll also rank for the singular version, but typically if you target the right one, you'll rank a little bit better. So that's something to consider. So once you have your keywords in place, it's time to check to make sure that you don't have any duplicate title or description tags on your site. And to do that, you want to install the Screaming Frog SEO Spider tool. So just Google Screaming Frog SEO Spider, and this is the first result, and then download it and install it for whatever operating system that you use. So once you've downloaded and installed the Screaming Frog SEO Spider, open it up and this is what you'll see. Now obviously I already ran a report, so there's information at the bottom, and for you this will be blank. So at the top where it says enter URL to Spider, you wanna put your homepage URL here and click start, and the program will do its thing. So once it's finished, you want to make sure that you don't have any duplicate page titles on your site. And to check that, click on the page titles tag and under the filter, click on duplicate. And what this does is it automatically organizes your pages to see if there are any duplicate title tags. Now, you do want to look at the address that it's saying the duplicate title tags are on because in this case, they think that blog comments are actually pages on my site and they're counting this as duplicate. So you do have to actually look and make sure that these addresses are, at, are either content pages or product or category pages. And if they are, you wanna go back and make sure each title is unique. And you wanna follow the same process for meta description. So click on meta description, filter by duplicate, and you can see whether or not you have duplicate meta descriptions on your product category or blog post pages. And if there, that's the case, you wanna go back and fix them. But again, you definitely wanna look at the address because in this case, you wouldn't wanna go back and change all these comments because these aren't actually pages, okay? So that's something you wanna pay attention to. But if there are duplicate content issues, this is definitely something very important to take care of for your e-commerce on-page SEO. So once you've identified and fixed any duplicate content issues you might've had with your meta title and meta description tags, it's time to check to see if you have duplicate content within your site, which is very common for e-commerce sites on their product and category pages. So head over to siteliner.com and put in your homepage URL here. And for the sake of the video, we're gonna use the example of johnlewis.com and click on go, and the report will do its thing. So what you wanna do is scroll down and it lists the URLs on your site and has something called match percentage and you want this to be very low. So if you notice a page has a match percentage of 47% or 87%, this means that that percentage of the content on that page matches other content on your site. So in this case, we have this woman, Radley, and all this stuff. It's 87%, which means 87% of the content on this page matches content on other pages within the site. Okay, so this is a problem, and this is something that you'd wanna go in and make sure you're writing unique content for every category and product page on your site. You can even just scroll down and just look. And once you get to the bottom, you'll notice that it's less and less. And it's okay to have some duplicate content because that's just things like banner ads or boilerplate content that's perfectly fine. But when you see match percentage is this high, this means that's something you wanna act on. 
So once you've addressed all the internal duplicate content issues on your site, you want to look for external duplicate content issues, which is very common if you use manufacturer's information for your product pages. And to check that, head over to copyscape.com and put in a product or category page here and click on go. And what this will do, it'll look for content elsewhere on the web. Now obviously there's gonna be scraper sites and things like that that find your content and that's not a problem, okay? So if you notice that, for example, grabpage.info has the same content as your page, that's not a problem, okay? But if you think that the manufacturer published the information first and then you copied it on your site, that could be a problem. So you wanna go back and actually write unique content. And to check that, just head over to the page and if you notice there's some you know flag from copyscape head over to the product page and under product information which is usually how people have their e-commerce site set up you want to replace this with unique content now finally i want to talk about breadcrumbs navigation now this actually has to be custom coded but it's something that's very very seo friendly so as you can see here they have breadcrumbs navigation. So from their homepage, they have the category home and garden, and from that they have kitchen, then they have hot drinks preparation, and then they have coffee grinders. Now this is helpful for SEO because this helps Google thematically know what this product page is all about. So this coffee grinder page, it gives them some perspective. So they understand that this is something that's found in the kitchen, it helps prepare hot drinks, and it's actually under the category coffee grinders. And also this helps increase your visibility in search because if you look at this URL in Google, you can see that they give you a little breadcrumbs navigation bump, okay? And that basically expands your listing in Google which can increase your click-through rate. So one last thing I wanna mention is image optimization. And image optimization for e-commerce pages is important for two reasons. First, if you want to appear in Google Images, which is a huge, huge traffic source, optimizing your images will help. But also it helps increase the ranking of these pages within Google Organic because a properly optimized image helps tell Google what this page is all about. So to check, right click on any image on your site and click on View Image Info. And what you're basically looking at is the location so you want to look at the file name and in this case you, the file name is not very good so you want the file name to be something like coffee grinder okay or john lewis coffee grinder and then under associated text which is the alt text it's just the title tag okay so you may want to write some alt text that just says you know delonghi kg49 coffee grinder to help you know, tell google and other search engines what this entire page is about and that alt text will also help you appear higher in google images so that's all there is to e-commerce on page seo thanks for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one